Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Mega Aquarium on the Nintendo Switch. Right, so I've had this about a week now. I was lucky enough to be sent a review copy. Um, it's a good game. It's a game that I quite like. It reminds me very much um, of my sort of forays into early sort of um, sort of management sims that of a certain type. You basically look after aquariums in the, the campaign mode like we're doing right now. You get to build up your aquarium as you go. So you get to build tanks and you get to stock them with fish and you get to let the... The, the, the customers come and go, or the visitors come and go, and they, they look at these things and they basically improves ecological things so that you can um, effectively, if we go down here and have a little look, we can actually research other fish. So we're currently researching the longhorned cowfish. And along the side, we've basically got some information about the longhorned cowfish. So it's a, um, an inquisitive, intelligent cowfish recognizes aqu aquariumists. Aquarists? Oh! Um, and we'll spit water at them to get their attention. So there we go. So the people who come to it. Um, these, these little thing gives you prestige chances. Prestige basically is your ranking system. It allows you to increase sort of um, your ranks as you go along the level. Um, as I've, I'm playing sort of not too far into the game. I've got... I've been The funny thing is about this game is I found myself spending... I would win a scenario and then I'd spend more and more time... Um, improving that particular aquarium and building it up to 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 something else. So um, I, I've I actually spent more time on them than, than I probably should have done. I spent probably spent the good part of a you know 50 minutes initially starting up the thing and building this tank here with the various filtration systems that are required and heaters to keep these fish alive. Um, because each individual tank has certain things in there. You can sell items and we got decoration and fish have certain requirements. So let's just do let's do something simple. So at the moment I'm currently researching um, because you've got things for research points. Currently researching deep wall tank. It wants me to do that. That's the next thing it wants me to do. It's a lovely, easy, simple tuition as it goes. But while that's doing that, let's build a little bit more of the aquarium because I want to build up on this one. So this is a scenario three, um, and it's um, a an option for from from a, um, a philanthropist. I can't speak today. Um, somebody. Who an entrepreneur who wishes you to build a, an aquarium for him, public new public aquarium. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this space over here. We're just going to build a little bit of extra space, expand the whole thing. Really simply done. So we'll expand into here, a little bit like that. I might take some of these walls down later, but you find that the 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 the, the customers kind of walk around in them. They're really quite annoying actually. Um, so what I want to do is I want to build I want to build some fancy looking tanks. So we're going to go with this wall one because I quite fancy doing something interesting. So where they have to walk into the middle of it all, um, and kind of walk in and walk out. Now let's just have a little look how many side. How did I make this? One, two, three, four. Oh, we've got the deep wall one. Actually, we might have to build the deep wall instead. Let's do that instead. Let's do that now that we've got it. Um, and we're going to research the large filtration system for filtering the water. Um, you'll need to produce platforms to get up to it so that you can feed the fish, which is fair comment. Right, okay. Well, now we've got the thing for that one. Let's do a large deep water one. Oh, look. There's a deep water wall, single wall, and edge one. So I was going to do this anyway. So let's make it a really deep water one over here. All right, let's stick that one there. I'm gonna. We can. You can expand them. You can make them larger. But we're not. I'm gonna stick with that because, I have to be fair, I've made, not made myself very much space really. So we'll go with that one. Place that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'll rotate this one. I'm going to put another one on the other side because I'm because I'm feeling I'm feeling brave here today. So I'm going to rotate this round until it's facing the right way. I'll just have a check that's right. So they can kind of walk, what I'm hoping to do here is make it so that they can walk into the gap in the middle there and have a good look at these deep water things that are, are there. So let's do that, let's choose that one. Okay, and what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna put a door in the way so that these guys can, can't actually get in there. Um, oh, did I run out of money? Or did I not do it? Didn't place it. Let's place that again. Um, the menus are really easy to use. Um, it, it works by using the D-pad. So you press left for the things on this side, which is sort of the purchable, purchasable items. You can even search on it if you wish. It works great with the touchpad because you can just touch the screen. If you want to do the things at the bottom, you push down. 
and then you can push the button on them to see so for instance your cash flow um, and you can see your prestige so and the thoughts of your guests what they're feeling like and then you press B to come out of here and if you want to push up you get the filters so you can see what filters are appearing above their heads so at the moment we don't see the guest needs we can turn that on if we wanted so so we could have we could see what the guests wanted or what the guests didn't want so we can turn on filters and then if you press to the right you get um, your current sort of tasks that you're trying to do so this is because I say is we're building up still to it so we're, we're definitely um, building our way through it now let's let's get another deep wall one I want another one of them Ooh. let's go with that then deep wall one right I want to rotate this until it's there and then I want to put it there place there we go. So we've got two deep wall ones right now. What I want to do is I want to make this area private because I don't want them wandering around in here. That we want to put it in there. So what we'll do is we'll drop a um, door in there. Now you're going. You're saying to yourself, "What do we do about these guys?" Well, we can pick these guys up. So we'll pick up that person and we'll drop you out there. Get on out there. Let's pick up this person and drop you out there. And let's pick up this person and drop you out there. Now, that staff can now only are the only people who can get in there. So I can actually see an advantage here as well, because I can also see. You see how I built the walls earlier, because I kind of wanted to block them off and stop the, the people get getting in there. I can actually expand, and this will help. I can actually open this up here a little bit, so without causing myself too much grief, I can do that. I'm just checking where I want to be. I think I want to be there. There we go. So now I've actually opened it up, and there's there's actually a tower of sort of central section there. That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind that. It kind of blocks off the the things, so the staff can come and go now, which is good because we also got access to the other things that are required, like a broom cupboard to clean up after the guests, a toolbox to repair the items, the food of the fish that's required, and it's the base. They're very simply done. Very, very simply done indeed. Just really easily um, makes this game quite... It's just, just a lot of fun to play. So let's go and build a platform so that our, our fish feeders can feed the fish. So let's purchase a platform. So we need to purchase some equipment. I think it is under. No, it's not. We'll try that again. Purchase tools. I'm having a look now. I've forgotten where I put it. Purchase life. Purchase tools. Purchase tools. Purchase tools. Not tools. Purchase facilities. It's not facilities. Is it under walls? It will be. There you go. Stairs and platforms. So I should have known it was under building. What a silly boy. Right. Okay. So let's plonk, plonk that there. Um, and you can adjust the height as well with the Y. I don't want to adjust the height, but you can. So you can make it really tall. But we don't need to be that tall. We just need to be tall enough that they can get up. So select that. Okay, and then we need to build, and we need to build a little set of stairs, so they can get up. So they can now get up once we do that, place that. Okay, close that. We can walk up onto the platform and feed the fish in that one. So let's let's make this fish tank more um, useful to to to, uh, to our little our little our little our fish. So let's what we'll do is we'll add this one, which is a combined heater and water filter. So we're going to add this to it. I'm going to stick that there. Right, now, once we've added that to there, you'll see that the water temperature on the whole thing has increased. It is now at 40 degrees, or 40, I assume it's 40 degrees, it could be 40 Fahrenheit degrees or something similar. Anyway, um, water quality is at 100% and it's got a decent capacity for fish. So that's quite a nice thing. We've got a nice, we've got a nice thing there and we've got plenty of power to filter the water, so we want to do that. Okay, so let's add some decoration to this so that it makes it more interesting for the customers. You see there's a little star next to each one of these. This is ecological and there is um, uh, that sort of various other things that they can do like filtration in this particular case for the, for the sea grapes. So let's do some filtration in there. Let's put some sea grapes in here like that. Okay, so that adds, adds extra filtration to the, to, the, to, the, to the tank, which is good. Let's add a few more decorations just to make it more interesting for the fish. Let's put in some, if we can find some rocks, let's put some rocks in, because some fish like rocks. So we'll put some fish rocks in. There we go. Oh, and then negative, because he's because he's basically, this one's empty at the moment. So we, we, we're building up this one here. There's no fish in it yet. Large filter is unlocked. That's very nice. Thank you. We'll do the large heater next. 
and we'll put a shell in here, I think, as well, just for just to make it look nice. So we've got lots of things. You're building a fish tank, basically. All right. So if you like fish and you like fish tanks, this is what you're building. So, and then we've got to purchase a livestock. So I want to put some fish in here. Now each fish has a, a requirement. We can see this one here. It produces prestige and ecological points, and it's a certain size. Um, it needs a tropical environment, so it needs to be warm. The water has to be at least 50% clear for it to work. It eats orange pellets. It's a wimp. It can't be housed with bullies. So bullies, what will happen if a bully's in there? It'll push it around and just sort of generally upset it. So, so, so the poor little fish gets sort of badly pushed about it's not fun for it oh poor little fish anyway so um let's have a few interesting fish in here let's see what we've got here i quite like some of these we'll try i'm trying to get some more of the prestige ones we've got a gruber here a gruber grouper grouper gruber i think they're called grubers actually anyway um unusual swimming behavior very bold um he likes what does he like he doesn't mind water as long as it's it doesn't actually seem to matter what water he's in. Uh, it doesn't have to be tropical either, particularly, I don't think. Oh, it does. Tropical. Now, he eats mussels. He's a cave lover. So, I, I've already made a little mistake there. And he's also very greedy. He also eats crustaceans. And he grows to a certain length. He grows to a huge length, actually. He's a massive fish that gets really, really big. So, so what we might do is, before we do that, then we'll, we'll go to the other cave. We'll go to the other one over here. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll get him... We'll get him nicely. He he wants to be in here. Let's put his let him put him. A, there's a bit of cave for him. Look. Let's put a bit of cave in there for that guy. Yeah. Right. And let's put in a another platform and let's just just build this one up here. So we'll put a platform here, and we'll select that, and then we'll select some stairs. We'll place that. Excellent. And what we'll do then is we'll put a filter in because he likes that. As I say, he likes he, he wants he wants his he wants his system to be he wants his water to be nice and clean. So there we go. So it's got tropical water. That's very good. Okay, and let's put our Gruber in there because he, because he needs to go in there. That's that's fine. And can he go in there? Yes, he can. And away he goes. Look, there he is. He's having a lovely swim in there, all on his own. I wonder if I can put a friend in him with him. Should we put a friend in? See if it'll be okay. Yep, so there's a couple of Grubers in there, so they've got that, and they eat mussels, so we need some mussels that are nearby. Now, I don't have a mussel station nearby, so what we'll do is we'll build a mussel station in. Isn't this easy? This is easy, and, 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 and well, before you know what's going on, you've spent hours and hours playing it, and that's great. So, let's put some food over here for our, for our, for our friends, the, the Gruber, there. So, well, that allows our... Um, staff who are wandering around here let's have a little look at our staff we've got a manager current staff so we've got basically we've got um flick and we have nigel and we have rachel and they have different skills um uh flick and 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 as is is able to feed fix and clean things um nigel is very good at feeding and fixing and um rachel is a feeder so she's very good at feeding things. So you can create zones as well, all kinds of stuff. But you can see what you can, you can. You, 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 I think if you can't see it already and you can't tell already, this is very addictive. This is very addictive indeed. This is this is simple but fun um, all at the same time. Now I could put some crustaceans in there. I'm not going to. I'm going to purchase some more livestock. And we haven't got one of these before. Now let's have a look at this because I don't know much about this particular fish. Oh, well, we've got another heater as well. Don't know much much this fish. It's got good prestige, limited per guest. Uh, it produces some extra. Um, it's a decent size. It's got a tank requirement. It's got some orange pellets. It's a bully. It pesters small fish. Dislikes um, uh, other versions of itself basically. Um, it doesn't like certain other crit fishes, so it doesn't like um, it doesn't like dotties, dotty backs, and um, other things. So it needs rocks. It needs rocks for it to work. So let us put one in here lack of rocky facilities right well we need to put some more rocks in so so i should be able to oh if you push down one button it goes all the way back to the door let me just change this let's take this out of here and sell that right okay and let's put some more rocks in here because he's not happy he needs more rocks so let's purchase some more rocks for him there are some big rocks there's a big pile of rocks let's put them in there that'll be him happy now i would think yeah, he's not happy now. Look, he likes his rocks. He does likes rocks because he likes to hide away from his his enemies. 
So, so we, we put some rocks in there with him. Let's put some, fi let's put some more decorations in because it's it's good. Let's put some kelp in there because that looks really quite cool, doesn't it? A bit of kelp. And same with that over this side of the room for for for, for the groupers because they look cool. Not that they need it, but it's nice to kind of make your fish tanks look nice. So let's uh, let's put some more fish friends in with him. See if we can put some more in. Some more dotty backs. Oh, no, they fight. It's not a suitable tank for him. Not rocky enough. So it's not rocky enough. See, oh, oh yes, there's another little thing while we're looking at it. You see how this tank is in the ground? And there's a, a connector. You can actually put pumps in another room. And then they connect across to things elsewhere in the aquarium. Which is really nice. There's some nice features here about this game. It's a really nice, sensible, great game. Um, sort of in the way it does things. Now he's the only fish in there. And I think that's a bit, that's a bit sparse. So let's put in some that's a wimp fish by the way he's got the little wimp picture so we can't put him in with the other one because he's aggressive look wimp cannot be housed with a bully so he's no good at all so we won't put him in there let's put in let's put this one in these ones now these guys need a shoal um to be happy so they need four of themselves or four at least it says shoaler needs to be ha grouped in a group of at least four of themselves so so that's what they need so let's put four of them in there one two three four we pop them in there, and that's another one there. So let's let's see what our aquarium looks like. Let's get down here and be with part of the with the with the customers. There we go. And we'll have a little look. There's our fish. And now I'm just still I'm still a beginner at this. I'm really enjoying it because it, it it's a lot of fun. You can wander around, you can look at the fish that you put in. I'm still, as I say, I'm still building. Look at those fellas, aren't they nice? It's really cool. Look at them. Now they're they're not nocturnal. They're doing they they like hiding there. And we've got some coral in here. We've got some lights on them. Um, so we've got those to going around there. And this is the big tank in the middle of it. It's got everything going on in here. Look at all these fish. Wow, we've got loads of them. And then we've got some. There's we've got we've got an eel. We've got an eel or a conger eel type. He's in the bottom of there. We could have done a bigger pool for him. Really, couldn't we? That's a half height one. Could have done a really deep one. He'd have loved that. Um, got some grass, and we've got some hermit crabs down the bottom there, or sort of hermit crab-ish things. And we've got a few other fish in here. Just, a, just there, just pretty standard ones. But I thought a nice shoal of them would be nice. And we've got all these happy customers, and they're all, you know, and we've got drinks machines, and um, later I believe there's a shop as well. Um, all of this is going on within the within the within the game. Look at the hermit crabs in there as well. Again, going around. And all of those people are, are working their way. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can because I'm staff. So I can go up in here. So here's our staff working things. See? Repairing it. Fixing that's a filtration system of sorts that's be used for the coral. Really improves the water quality. Uh, big to go back. And we just zoom back out again. And we can see our, our our system now we can color it you can you, well, as the game but progresses you've got more options for for free play well free play is already available you can free play straight away which is fantastic it means you can choose to have everything there you can customize it and give yourself maximum ranks give yourself everything maximum money um so you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about the fish and um, these little things by the way tell you that the fish are looking for looking for some I keep pushing the wrong button I keep pushing the left one uh, the right one sorry it's the left one um, tell me that they're looking for green pellets at the moment so the staff will come along and get some green pellets and take them over and feed these fish so they're looking for some food and he's looking for they're looking for some mussels and they grow as they go but I, as I say I've had enormous amounts of fun with it thus far and and what what really really enjoyable about it it's just that the way it feels and plays it feels very much like um, um, games that I've played in the past other other tycoon type games but I, I there's something enjoyable about managing fish it's a nice it's a nice feeling and i have to admit i wasn't sure how i was going to discuss this when i first started but but i think this is the way to do it this is the way to show it to you guys i think the only way to show it is to show you what's going on within a within a a, a small a small scenario it's not even i'm not even touched the surface i barely scraped it um it's really going beyond that and it just plays really well um on the on the nintendo switch it is good it's the the the, the controls are solid and it's it's sensible um if we just i'm just going to go back to the main menu just to give you a quick little look at that so i'm just going to save my game quickly here i'm just going to override the existing one because i'm not worried 
Right, so we save that game and then we'll go back to to um, new game. So we've also got, as I said before, so we've got the campaign where we've got to so far. I was playing on easy. There are different modes, um, normal, hard, and of course brutal, which is absolutely amazingly expensive. Costs everything costs so much money. But but you know if you want if you want casual, you've got the easy mode there, and it's very easy to play on easy. <laughs> Just to paraphrase and then you've got the uh, you've got the uh, the sandbox and the sandbox kind of starts you at different ranks different ranks give you different items you know it starts your difficulty side objectives whether you have to trade to buy to get equipment which is which is a possibility you can do that as well so 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 there are options like that to to trade um, items and and things that are around with other people and then you've got fully unlocked which is obviously everything going at the same time and then Sorry about that. Um, and then we've got the research mode, which is basically a few um, sort of, you know, it's got, it starts early rankings, lets you build up to see what's going on, frequent trades, allows you to have merchants and things. And as I say, I have to admit, I, and of course you can do custom, so you can go, I want everything. So I want to be ranked 12, and I want it on brutal for fun of it, and I want side objectives and frequent and normal. And it, it, it it's, I, I like it because of the way it plays. Um, it plays nicely. Um, yeah, quite quite impressed with this. It's got been, <laughs> been a game I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying this game, and it and that's that's a very important thing. I'd love to see it. I don't know if it's ever going to become as a physical release. Um, my just my my sense of um, ownership as I'd love to see it as a physical release. I think it could be quite nice. Nice little box with the mega aquarium on the front of it. That would be absolutely awesome. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.